unnatural. You don't get much hope either. God says it's unnatural. And then we do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And we love you enough to do that. But you don't see it that way, you see it as hatred. Abomination well, having the having the TQ and the plus, there's nothing to do with sexuality. That's the abolition of gender, which is entirely untrue. The LGB. Well, don't film me, please. I don't right. want to be. Okay, okay, that's fine. Well, I'm just I'm here doing that, but that's that's totally fine. Um, the LGB is completely different. That's to do with sexuality, but the plus is the insidious part. <laughs> That's a personal view. I'm warning you now. Yeah. Okay, that's discri discriminatory I behavior. I I okay, that that is on the on said, the cusp of a public order offense. If you use discriminatory behavior or you start insulting other people's views again, anyone. then sorry, we will sorry. take action. Okay, I'm I'm, I've given you the warning. I that's it. Sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry. Sir. Can I ask what, what was the discriminatory part? When you start talking about LGBTQ and stuff, that's an insidious part. I said your view was it's an insidious part. It doesn't matter. You have just insulted this person. I this person. Yes, you have. What, did you feel insulted by that you comment? I don't know anything about. I don't know anything about. I didn't insult you. I said the name Kel Rubin. Right. I have just given you where the where the parameters are. Don't step over them. I've given you where the parameters are. Do you I understand where they are? No, I don't. Okay. No, right, if you questions. use if you use right. derogatory, defamatory, or discriminatory terms, that will border into criminal offences. Okay. Don't, don't use them. That's it. I'm not negotiating. I'm, not, I'm telling you where I'm, the parameters no, are. I'm asking you can continue your conversation now. I'm asking now. you a question because I didn't speak to this I woman. think I've been very said. clear in what okay. I said. I'm asking you a question. I'm certainly right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Behaving in an unnatural way. You said not the LGBT. LGBT. Yeah. No, I didn't say that. At all. Oh, okay. I didn't say that. At all. I said I don't think that the LGBT compared with the LGB. So are you familiar with the LGB alliance? There is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We just interviewed them. They have a slightly different view that the acronym should not be together because gender and sex are very separate categories. But I'm concerned, for example, with are you familiar with Gail Rubin, the full mother of queer theory? I don't know a word. Okay, that's that's fine. No, I, I don't expect everyone does. But she was an academic and she wanted to abolish boundaries because she thought of intergenerational relationships. And anyone who says that, for example, like those academics, are awful people. But regular, I mean, if you want to use the LGBT acronym, it's fine. Regular people I mean, that are going around, they're fine. I mean, I would I like to say that. to you, I, yeah. I, I didn't actually insult by what I'm no. insulted by is people over here yeah. talking about grouping everybody together yeah. and saying yeah. being lesbian gay, yeah. bi, trash, yeah. anything else yeah. is unnatural and offensive. Yeah. So I was asking you if you support their approach. Yeah. I could argue with you on a yeah. theoretical yeah, level saying, yeah. about what you said. Yeah. I actually didn't find it offensive. Yeah. Um, that's, why. that's why I was insulting you because I, 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 I don't know anything about you. No. So that's why I just found that no. really strange. Yeah. 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 yeah, I have to say, I, I yeah. was kind of like, yeah. okay? Yeah, I know. If you're going to talk to anybody, yeah. talk to these guys. Yeah, but yeah. it's also, also like, I didn't even finish my sentence to you. You immediately yeah. assumed I was insulting you. But that's a weird country we live in of where I've just been told I could be charged with public order offence for something I didn't even say. That's nuts. Yeah. That's just, and I don't even know. So, sorry, that's Jane, Jane I'm not to speak to you. So, as you'll be able to see, thanks to the works of our wonderful editors at Lotus Seaters, um, and we'll play the footage in the background as I'm talking. I just got threatened with arrest by some jumped up police officer in high vis for a public order offence act because I was chatting to a woman who was chatting to a biblical preacher who was saying things like homosexuality is unnatural. And she said, do you agree with this? And I said, and she used the LGBT acronym. I made the distinction between the LGBs, the LGB alliance types, which I was wearing a pin of at the time because I just finished talking to them, and the TQ+. And I said about the plus, I said, oh, it could be insidious because, and I was about to talk about Gail Rubin, the foremother of queer theory, who said about intergenerational relationships, who tried to normalize paedophilia, much like Michel Foucault, for example. Plenty of the French types who signed that letter to abolish the age of consent. You know, people who don't like men and women, which I don't really care about, who like kids, 
who are awful, who everyone disagrees with, who that woman disagreed with. When I said to her, yeah, we don't care about gay people that much, we care about if you like kids, she agreed with me. Well, the copper jumped in and spoke on her behalf, stuck his finger in my face and said, this is not up for negotiation, this is not up for debate. If you continue this conversation, if you continue insulting this woman who didn't even feel insulted about her sexuality, which we don't even know if that was her sexuality, don't know at all because I didn't finish my sentence, I will arrest you. We do not live in a free country. This is hell. And I can speak here because I don't know how many of you guys have had the police knock on your door before. I've never had an interaction with the police like that in my life. All right? What you do is, and I'm quite a confrontational guy, your adrenaline starts going and you don't want to fight the guy, but you go into fight or flight mode, but you can't do anything. Your ability to even have a reasonable response to him, I was trying to talk to him saying, let me finish my sentence, you don't know what I was going to say. He cut me off, he said I could not negotiate, he scolded me like a child and he held his authority over me. He is belittling, it is totalitarian, and it cannot be tolerated. Because not only do you feel angry, not only is it unjust, but it was the petty tyranny of someone who was probably bullied at school and wanted to wield a little bit of power over you. And he didn't even know what I was going to say. And then afterwards, as you'll, as you'll see, and the lady didn't want to be on camera, but we were chatting, and we ended up shaking hands, I took her name, she said she wasn't offended, and as we walked away, she was talking to him to say I didn't feel threatened. Right? And that's as we were speaking to other anti-abortion protesters as well, which you may or may not have seen, depending on if we use a clip. Unreal. So I can only describe the emotional sensation of you are enraged, you have a bit of shock, you have the adrenaline coursing, but also the injustice of it all doesn't quite hit you. Like I'm still, I'm still letting it wash over me a little bit. But the fact of the matter is, he didn't even know what I was saying. He just heard one word jump down my throat and threaten me with arrest. This is nuts. This is not England. And that's outside the Conservative Party conference. So, any time you hear an MP saying, oh, we're all for free speech, but for example, at a, at a panel event, they can't even name Section 127 of the Communications Decency Act, right? They can't even name why you can be prosecuted offline. They don't understand why their new protest bill has had stuff like that happen, of where you create a public nuisance or a public offence by saying one word out of context. Any time you hear them say, we're going to protect free speech, goddamn lie. Do something. Otherwise, it's just words.